So our DNA medicines are designed to create a robust immune response against, in this case, Mary, as you said, glioblastoma or GBM. And these responses are dependent upon our DNA medicines, INO5401, creating antigen-specific or protein-specific T cells that go and attack the cancer. We are extremely excited about INO5401 because, one, we can see that we are generating these antigen-specific T cells that are vital to fighting the tumor cells themselves. And I think more importantly, as we will share with the American Society for Clinical Oncology in the coming weeks, we are seeing an improvement in survival above what we would expect from historical controls. So we're mostly excited because we have clinical data to say that INO5401 may very well be working in patients with glioblastoma. Promoter methylation status for the MGMT promoter has been prognostic for many years for patients with glioblastoma. And really, one of the things we know is that depending upon your methylation status, you may or may not respond to certain types of chemotherapy, most specifically temozolomide. One of the reasons why this is important is because temozolomide is known to have its own side effect profile. One of them is to potentially suppress your immune response by decreasing the number of white blood cells that you have available, for example, to fight the GBM. And so the fact that we were able to show at this interim and early look, survival at 12 months, approximately 85% in both MGMT promoter unmethylated, this cohort A patients that you mentioned, as well as in our MGMT methylated patients, the cohort B patients that you mentioned, gives us confidence that in both of these subtypes of glioblastoma, we may be able to show a potential clinical benefit. 